Let us now pray the Novena to the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are all beautiful, Mary, and the original stain is not in you. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You give honor to our people. You are the advocate of sinners. O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most merciful, pray for us, intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel. O most pure Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, from the very first instant, you were entirely immaculate, O glorious Mary, full of grace, you are the Mother of God, the Queen of angels and of men. I humbly venerate you as the chosen Mother of my Savior, Jesus Christ. The Prince of Peace and the Lord of Lords shows you for the singular grace and honor of being His beloved Mother. By the power of His cross, He preserved you from all sin. Therefore, by His power and love, I have hope and bold confidence in your prayers for my holiness and salvation. I pray that your prayers will bring me to imitate your holiness and submission to Jesus and the divine will. Queen of heaven, I beg you to beg my Savior to grant me these requests. Silently mention your petitions. My Holy Mother, I know that you were obedient to the will of God. In making this petition, I know that God's will is more perfect than mine. So grant that I may receive God's grace with humility as you did. As my final request, I ask that you pray for me to increase in faith in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in hope in our risen Lord. I ask you to pray for me to increase in love for the risen Lord. Amen. O my Queen and my Mother, to you I recommend myself, and I am forever grateful for all the gifts I have received through your intercession. Strengthen, O my Mother, my will, and purify my desires that I may always be a true child to a pure mother and merciful queen. Grant that through my prayers and Christian life, I may be worthy to be with you in heaven, which is the true destiny of all redeemed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, 
Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our creator. Pray for us. Mother of our savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Virgin most holy and immaculate, to you the honor of our people and our loving protector, do we turn with loving trust. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you there is no sin. Awaken in all of us a renewed desire for holiness. May the splendor of truth shine forth in our words, the song of charity resound in our works. Purity and chastity abide in our hearts and bodies and the full beauty of the gospel be evident in our lives. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you the word of God became flesh. Help us always to heed the Lord's voice. May we never be indifferent to the cry of the poor or untouched by the sufferings of the sick and those in need. May we be sensitive to the loneliness of the elderly and the vulnerability of children and always love and cherish the life of every human being. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you is the fullness of joy born of life with God. Help us never to forget the meaning of our earthly journey. May the kindly light of faith illumine our days, the comforting power of hope direct our steps, the contagious warmth of love stir our hearts, and may our gaze be fixed on God, in whom true joy is found. You are all beautiful, O Mary. Hear our prayers. Graciously hear our plea. May the beauty of God's merciful love in Jesus abide in our hearts, and may this divine beauty save us, our city, and the entire world. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We are now on our fifth day 
of Novena in preparation for the solemn feast of our Blessed Mother, the Immaculate Conception. We beg for intercession that we may be truly willing to work in the harvest of the Lord. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who, fulfilling the promise made to our fathers, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary to become the mother of the Savior, grant that we may follow her example, for her humility was pleasing to you, and her obedience profitable to us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, O people of Zion who dwell in Jerusalem, no more will you weep. He will be gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. The Lord will give you the bread you need and the water for which you thirst. No longer will your teacher hide himself, but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher. While from behind, a voice shall sound in your ears. This is the way, walk in it, when you would turn to the right or to the left. He will give rain for the seed that you sow in the ground, and the wheat that the soil produces will be rich and abundant. On that day, your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in spacious meadows. The oxen and the asses that till the ground will eat silage tossed to them with shovel and pitchfork. Upon every high mountain and lofty hill, there will be streams of running water. On the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, the light of the moon will be like that of the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times greater, like the light of seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the wounds of his people, he will heal the bruises left by his blows. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Praise the Lord, for He is good. Sing praise to our God, for He is gracious. It is fitting to praise Him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem, the dispersed of Israel, he gathers. Blessed are those who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly the wicked he casts to the ground. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Please all stand.
The Lord is our judge, our lawgiver, our king. He it is who will save us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. Jesus sent out these twelve after, in, after instructing them thus, Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Madalas naririnig ho natin na kapag mas marami ang nagtatrabaho, mas mabilis natatapos ang trabaho. At ito yung pinagmamalaki ho natin bilang mga Pilipino yung diwa ng bayanihan. Tulong-tulong para mas mapabilis ang trabaho. Tulong-tulong para madaling matapos ang trabaho. But if you look into our gospel, somehow there was a longing on the part of Jesus. He cites the lack of workers in the vineyard. The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. Sagana ang ani, Ngunit kakaunti yung mag-aani. And if we will apply the example that we gave, more work with less workers would mean longer work and longer time to finish the work. However, let us not just look at the pending work. Let us not simply focus on the task that needs to be accomplished. But let us also take a look at the one who is inviting to work. Para ho sa isang graduate, tiyak ako na nandun yung pangarap nila na matanggap sila dun sa kanilang dream job. Dahil tingin nila, kapag nakapasok sila dun sa kanilang dream job, kahit na mahirap yung trabaho, pag susumikapan nila. Dahil yun yung kanilang pinangarap. For someone to land in their dream job, they will move heaven and earth just to be hired in their dream company. But when reality comes in and they soon realize that their dream job is not really a fairy tale come true, they tend to leave it with heavy hearts, shattered dreams, and even crushed idealism. If we look again into our gospel, Jesus is not really a good recruiter. Why? Because he simply lays down the task, but does not offer any reward. Para sa isa hong nagahanap ng trabaho, hindi niya lang basa tiniting na yung klase ng trabaho, pero titing na yarin kung sa sapat ba yung sweldo niya, kung yung magiging sahod ba niya ay angkop dun sa kanya magiging trabaho. But Jesus offers no offers no reward. Jesus offers no salary. 
for the pending task that needs to be accomplished. And here lies the difference between the world between the work between the work the world offers and the task that Jesus presents. Because the task of preaching the gospel offers no monetary reward. And the task of preaching the gospel does not simply fall on the hands of the priest or the religious, but it is the task of every baptized Christian. What do I mean? Whenever we go for work, whenever we do our task, do we bring our Christian identity with us? Then who ba sa atin yung sinasaalang-alang yung pananampalataya kapag ginagawa natin yung trabaho natin. Kapag hindi tayo pamayag sa mga pandaraya na nakikita natin sa loob ng mga trabaho natin, yak yun, wala tayong makukuhang gantimpala. Hindi natin makukuha yung amor ng mga katrabaho natin. Magkakaroon pa tayo ng kaaway. We won't earn any monetary compensation when we uphold what is right and true. Most of the time, we would even lose friends with our decisions. And this is precisely what Jesus is inviting for us today. The field of the harvest is vast. But how many of us are willing to work for Jesus? To work for Jesus will never be enticing. But to work for Jesus would mean gaining everything. Not with what the world offers, but we will gain what is truly essential for us. As we continue to prepare for the solemn feast of the Immaculate Conception, let us ask the intercession of our Blessed Mother, so that like her, we could be willing workers to the har- for the harvest of the Lord. Please stand. God the Father has invited us to be his ministers to spread the good news of salvation. We pray for the grace to recognize the dignity of our mission and the necessary strength to carry it out. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That missionaries in foreign lands may be effective in bringing the gospel of salvation to all they meet by their witness of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That parents may communicate their faith to their children by the holiness of their life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, the lonely, and the brokenhearted may feel the love of Christ to the care of their families and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may enjoy everlasting peace in God's presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Heavenly Father, Guide our faltering steps as we walk on your path. Help us in our struggle. Encourage us in our doubts. Comfort us in our pain. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please visit me.
Bless the dear Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Bread of the earth and work of human hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual tree. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, these offerings, and by your power change them into the sacrament of salvation, in which fulfilling the sacrifices of the fathers is offered the true Lamb, Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the ever-Virgin Mary, in a way beyond all telling, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis Xavier, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am I not am worthy, worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord our God, always show forth your mercy in us, that we who commemorate in faith the mother of your Son may be saved by his incarnation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of entrustment to the Immaculate Conception. Please kneel. O most blessed Virgin Mary, you who were preserved from the stain of original sin, most loving and powerful patron of the Philippines, to you also be endless praise everlasting veneration and thanksgiving in Christ Jesus. O Immaculate Mother, our most kind Mother, our most sweet and most exalted Queen, with grateful, with grateful hearts we praise your mercies and fly to your protection. O Blessed Lady, you who captivate with your sweetness the hearts of men, 
you who have captivated our hearts, we have captivated the hearts of our people also. You have established, fostered, and strengthened the foundations of the faith in our beloved land by your good patronage as manifested in so many visible proofs of your maternal love. We are yours. We wish to be yours. Show yourself a mother and patron to us. Guard us and protect us through your most powerful intercession. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. We stand. We thank you for joining us in our Novena Masses and in preparation for the solemn feast of the Immaculate Conception of our Blessed Mother. We especially thank our online community who continues to join us online and hopefully as one community we continue to pray not only for our mother church but for, the whole, but for our whole country as well. The Belen exhibit of Father Jenny has been opened yesterday and we invite you to visit this Belen exhibit at our St. Joseph Chapel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.